In this week's portion of Emor, we read of the special sacrifices that were brought in the Holy Temple during the holidays. We also read how the menorah was kindled with special olive oil, pure olive oil, and how the lechem upon him, the special bread, were placed on the shulchan, on the table that was situated in the Holy Temple. So the three components of the Kodesh, of that room, of the Beis Hamikdash and the Mishkan that we read about in the book of Shemos. In this week's portion, Torah tells us how they were put to use. The altar sacrifices were brought during the holidays. The menorah was kindled daily. The table, the bread was placed on it. What lesson does this teach us? We sometimes build many beautiful things. We make beautiful things. We accomplish many good things. The question is, bottom line, how does that affect your life? How does that affect the world in which you live in? If you're taking that and you're implementing it to your day-to-day -day life, then you accomplish. Then what you did was great. But if you put it aside, you put the book on the bookshelf and it's never read, the table you built is never used, the altar you built is never used for sacrifices, then what good is it? The lesson we take from Pasha Zemmer is to make sure that everything in life, all of the blessings that God gives us, and all our potentials that we have, to see to it that they are used out to the fullest, and that the world can appreciate it, and you and your personal life as well. So may God bless us with great success, that everything we do and everything we accomplish should have its permanent effect on us and the world around us. And that way we know that the world is ready for the coming of Mashiach. Shabbat Shalom.